The school renovation ballot questions are numbers three and four on city ballots. A yes vote on question three authorizes borrowing $64 million to invest in renovations in four city elementary schools, Lyseth, Presumpscot, Longfellow, and Reiki. A yes vote on question four authorizes half as much borrowing, $32 million, but only focuses on two schools, Lyseth and Presumpscot. Supporters of question three, the four school solution, say city voters should not leave Longfellow and Reiki behind. It's just enough is enough. The kicking of the can must end and we must invest in these schools now before it costs even more in the future. Yeah, definitely. John Thibodeau and Emily Figdor are with the group Protect Our Neighborhood Schools. Figdor's two children attend Reiki. The school department has been working to remediate a mold problem inside. Figdor says there are no walls between some of the classrooms. The noise is interrupting learning, so kids wear these headsets in order to try and concentrate. The four school campaign folks say it's time to stop waiting for the state to take care of the problems and instead fix them at the local level, even if that means increasing city tax bills. I mean, the cost is real, but it's manageable. Portland's undergoing a lot of change right now, and I think one of the best ways that we can really maintain our Portland identity and culture is to, is to invest in our schools, They're the center of our communities. Um, what better place to invest as taxpayers? Right now, the Maine Department of Education is working on deciding how the state will prioritize the money it will spend to renovate schools in the future. The list won't be ready until the spring. And then you do it. Dory Waxman and Joan Gildart are with the two school campaign. Better schools, better deal. They say, let's wait. We cannot turn our back for one minute on the opportunity to seek state school building funds. We just can't. Gildart, a retired Portland teacher, and Waxman, a former city councilor and school board member, say borrowing $64 million will put a financial strain on young families, new Americans, and retirees. We have a lot of working class people in this town that still deserve to stay here. They've lived here all their lives. They're being forced out because taxes are, are going up. The supporters of Question 4, the two-school solution, still care about the futures of all four elementary schools. If they prevail next week, they promise to push for renovations to Longfellow and Reiki if the state doesn't come through in the spring. Well, I think we should wait to find out about that promise. If it's going to be broken, we're willing to go back out to bond if we need to. The other option? Vote no on both questions three and four, pay nothing locally, but keep waiting on the state to come through with the money to fix the city's elementary schools. In Portland, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.